Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes It Up. Today I have a very requested video within the Worth to Splurge Wednesday series. Um, today it is of course Tom Ford and I've kind of gone through my pro kit and my personal Tom Ford stash and I've kind of picked out all the products that I own within the range. So I don't have obviously the entire range but I have pieces that definitely pieces I go to back to again and again and again and I love um, and then a few pieces that maybe I have that I just don't use so much so I thought let's go through and see which ones are worth the splurge. So I'm going to start with the primer and this one is the illuminating primer so obviously with Tom Ford the packaging as you would hope for the price point is really lovely. This one is like a kind of gold tinted primer so and I do really like this it's not like I say a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector but it gives a little bit more something than a general illuminating primer. So I haven't used that for a while actually, I've forgotten how much I like it. With the lids you just twist up to activate so you can get the product so out. So I have two foundations that I use in my Pro Kit by Tom Ford. I have first of all the Traceless Perfecting Foundation which is SPF 15. Now this one is worth the splurge if you're looking for something that is super long lasting, a little bit more on the satin finish. Um, so it's not quite matte, not quite dewy, it's somewhere in the middle, but really nice on most different skin types. Um, and I think this one, again, it's worth the splurge if you want that little bit more coverage and you want something very long lasting. This is really, really good. Um, I'm not gonna use this one today because I don't actually think I have my color in that one. Um, the other one that I really love is the Traceless, is it called the Traceless? Traceless foundation stick, yeah. I've talked about this quite a lot in my All About The Base course as well because this one also doesn't have SPF, so it's really good for flashback or red carpet or photographs. Um, now this one is a very, very creamy foundation. In fact, I've got slippy hands now. I've used the primer. Um, this one is the shade 03 Fawn, which I think, yes, this is the one that I normally use on me. Um, now I have drier skin, more dehydrated skin, and my skin absolutely loves this. So I tend to just put a bit in the middle. Now this is very hydrating, very dewy, this foundation. So I'm actually just gonna start with fingers, I think, and just blend it in because the reason I always go back to this foundation is the fact you can build it quite easily. I think you can kind of start with a little bit and because it's quite like an emollient finish, it works really nice as well um, on top of the primer. And you can just go in and like add more coverage where you need it. But I just find this builds really nicely. You can see it's very, very glowy. Um, and I like the fact you can kind of touch up throughout the day from the stick. Again, the shade range is pretty good as well with Tom Ford. You know, by the time you go to kind of a higher end um, brand, you're hoping that you're gonna get more choice of skin colors as well. So, or at least in with their kind of like base products. So that, I really love it with the primer. Um, that is one that on myself especially I love, but I also love it on drier skin. Um, it's also really nice on mature skin as well, the stick. So I really like that. They both still get a thumbs up from me and are worth a splurge. I think, like I said, there are certain products that I feel like if someone's to say to me, I've got this much money and I only wanna buy one Tom Ford thing, what should I buy? Nine times out of 10, I come back to the eye palettes because I feel like you do get a, a lot of your, lot for your money. And I also think, so these are the size of the eyeshadow palettes. They have really big wells as well in terms of what you get in a palette. I think that's the other thing, sometimes you buy a luxury item and you get a very small amount, whereas I feel like it is pricey, but you get a good amount with Tom Ford and that's really good. There's three in particular that I've kind of brought to show you because I think these are the three that um, when people talk about buying a Tom Ford palette that they want to be able to use and get a lot of use out of, the three that I think are worth the splurge. The first one is um, Coco Mirage, this one, which is all mattes. And it's just a fantastic set of browns. I feel like, again, browns you can't go wrong with. No matter what your skin tone, they are universally flattering for contouring, natural, smoking up the eye. You get so many different options with a palette like this, and this is definitely, definitely worth investing in. Um, I use that so much. It's great if you're a bride. It's great if you're looking to have a nice photograph taken. Then the second one I have is Golden Mink, which has... Um, slightly more pearl finishes in these two top shades and then these like press on shimmers which you can use with your finger to apply super beautiful super lovely absolutely love that shadow palette and again I use a lot of red carpet and then the last one which I feel like Lisa Eldridge managed to make super famous this year um, when she did her Adele tutorial um, and it is the um, nude dip palette which I think is still available as far as I know if there's anything that's not available anymore I will suggest what is the newest updated version from Tom Ford 
but New Dip is just a beautiful, again, pretty much a suit all. I think unless you've got super, super dark complexion, this might not get um, as much use out of all the shades, but generally I find this is very, very, creates like satin eyes, a nice expensive looking sheen. The shades are a pearl finish that's not glittery, but very, very smooth, and all the Tom Ford eyeshadows blend beautifully. I feel like I wanna go with Mirage because I love it and I always come back to it. I think I have used New Dip in a video before. If I can remember which video it is, I'll link it somewhere up here in an iCard so you can see that in action. Um, ooh, what to go for, what to go for. I feel like I'm gonna go for Coco Mirage because I just think, like I said, if you were to splurge on any of these eyeshadow palettes, this one I think would last you a lifetime if you looked after it well. Um, and it is just a beautiful palette. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna show you the shades in action. So I'm gonna start with um, the like nude vanilla shade and I'm actually gonna tap a bit off because that was quite a lot of product But these again, this is a nice one just to kind of neutralize the eyelid Then I'm gonna go in with the neutral tone, which is the second lightest Such a beautiful eyeshadow palette So again, there's no fall down. I think with this level of price you're paying for eyeshadow you want perfection and for me as a makeup artist, I think Tom Ford eyeshadows are about as close as you can get to perfection. So, and I think for the fact that there's consistency within all the shades as well, so the mattes are amazing, the shimmers are amazing, the pearls are amazing, um, every texture is consistent, which again, I think sometimes what's another thing you find with a brand is they may do mattes really well, but not shimmers or vice versa. So then I'm gonna go in with, let's take a different brush that I used earlier, I'm gonna go this shade, so the more ready of the brown, and I'm gonna take that all over the lid now. So um, below the sockets, so it blends into what we did earlier, but I want to go for a darker eye now. And there's still no fall down as I do this, which I think is so impressive. All over the lid, such a pretty eye palette. And then I'm gonna to go to a pointier brush just to take some of that, so like a little domed brush, I'm gonna take some of that as well under on the outer third. And then what I'm gonna do before I go on to any of the other shadows is I'm going to go on to one of my favorite eyeliners. Now, the Tom Ford High Definition Eyeliner is the one I have. I don't have the soft pencil, but this one is in black. I have them in brown in my kit, I think in a shade called Smoke, quite a few different shades. And this is the most amazing tight line eyeliner. Now, in terms of smudging, you don't really get much play time. So I think, um, it's one of those ones I always use in the tight line because it literally stays there all day. So if you're looking for a great upper lash line, tight line pen, then this is great. And then I'm gonna use that as well into the lash line just to kind of darken and give a bit more depth. So now you'll see these are quite precise. So it's more like if you wanted to draw a flick, but I do quite like them for getting kind of like darkness into the roots of the lashes because like I said, they're not the most blendiest of pencils, these are a lot harder, a lot more waxy, not as smooth, so they're not like a Kajal. So then I'm gonna use a bit of the Ready Tone, which is in this palette, and I'm just gonna apply that kind of to the center of the eye, just to bring, it's the only one that has the slightest bit of sheen in it. So at this point, I'm gonna go on to concealer. Now, this is a funny one, because when I first tried this, if I'm really honest, I didn't like it, I didn't get it. This one is the concealing pen, so it has the little sponge, and I don't know if it's the little sponge that put me off or if it's the formula, but when I first used this, I just wasn't sure. I was just like, mm, not sure if this is me. It didn't even make it into my pro kit. And then the other day I was reaching for a concealer and I tried it again. And maybe it's because I've got more of a tan and I've got the right, I suit the number two pen really well now. Um, and I tried it and it actually lasted really, really well. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of the concealer on. Um, in terms of it being worth the splurge, again, I think there are better concealers for cheaper money, that's the truth, um, but it is nice. It's one of those ones, like I said, I kind of wrote it off at first. Um, it has a lot of yellow in, considering this is number two. So I can get rid of the redness in my nose with the concealer. I don't think it's the kind of concealer that's right for covering spots because it's quite liquid um, in texture, but I do really like it. And when I've tried it again recently, like I said, it lasted really well, so I do really like it. Um, is it worth the splurge? Not for me, I think there's better concealers that do 
they perform a little bit better too um, and for a cheaper price. Mascara, so I only have one mascara from Tom Ford and it is the Ultra Length Mascara. Now for me personally, I like volume in my lashes because I don't have many lashes. However, I use this in my Pro Kit and in my Pro Kit, I really like it for lengthening. It is a lovely mascara. I think it has, it's not so much a plasticky comb and it's not so much a bristle, it's somewhere in the middle. Um, I'm gonna give my lashes a curl first actually before I do this. So I've just taken a little bit of the excess off um, on a tissue because it is a very wet formula. formula. So I'm gonna pop some on the bottom lashes. So that's one eye with on the top lashes and one without. And I do really like it, it's not that I dislike it, it's a very, very nice mascara, but again, I think if you're choosing where to spend your money, a mascara is probably not gonna be your first option from a luxury brand. Again, I think there are amazing drugstore mascaras, there are Max Factor do incredible mascaras. Um, so if you can afford it, obviously this is an incredible mascara. Um, however, if it's about deciding where you spend your money, for me, it's, I think at the minute, it's still the eyeshadow palettes. But... So mascara on, I feel like now let's go on to, again, we've done concealer. I don't have any Tom Ford powder. However, I think I'm gonna use cream products anyway. So I have, which was really popular when it first came out, the shade and illuminate palette. Now, my issue with this was the highlight's amazing. I absolutely love the highlight. Um, it came in shades one and two. I will correct on the bottom if that has changed since. However, the number one shade was incredibly yellow. The contour was so yellow that it just looked too yellow on my skin. Um, so I actually brought the second shade, which is aimed more at darker skin because I found the red in this made a better shadow color on me. So I will show it you on. So I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques contour brush and I'm gonna dab some in and I've got, again, I like to sort of swipe a bit off on the back of my hand first. And I think for me, this is a better color shadow. First of all, I'm just gonna use this brush backwards and forwards. And then I'm gonna go back to the brush I used for my foundation and I'm just going to start to buff it in. I'm gonna use a bit of the highlight and the highlight on this is beautiful. I love the highlighter because it is very, very highlightery. Um, and it's very beautiful. It gives that look of like a wet sheen skin, which are really nice. It's not, um, you know, like a really, really sparkly highlighter. It is more of a gleam and a sheen, which is what I tend to go for in a highlighter. And the other cream product that I do have, again, I've tried the blushes. They are also beautiful. Um, now, one blush that has a very, very special place in my heart because I wore it on my wedding day um, is this one, which is, I think it's called Pink Sand. And this, oh my goodness, I love it. So with my foundation brush, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this to my cheeks because it's one of those blushes whenever I wear it, people always say I look really healthy. Now, I don't know if this is limited edition or not because every time I check back on the website, it's still there. Um, so I think if this were, this is one of those things I would recommend to get just in case, but it's just the right amount of pink. It's not too full on, it's incredibly flattering and you can start with a little bit and build up. And last but not least is lips. So I think, again, I, I'm a massive fan of Tom Ford lipsticks. I think their variety is great. All the colors, again, are colors you want to wear. Um, you want to look out on your dressing table. Again, the packaging is fabulous, it's weighty. And that's one thing I would say with Tom Ford packaging, it's very consistent. It all feels luxury, it feels high end, and it feels special. So the lipsticks, the lipsticks are totally worth the splurge and one of my absolute favorite formulas. So from everything from the Lip Color Shine Rouge, so I have Nubile, which is a color that the lovely Monica Blunder told me to get. She said, this is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's color. I'll pop a bit of this on. It is just a very easy to wear brownie nude that's not, it's, it's not too kind of like warm, so it's even though it's brownie, it's still quite flattering. And these ones are more of like a sheeny finish, but they still have pigment, you know, don't be fooled. They still, were they called sheer? No, lip color shine. So, you know, these are more of a slightly glossy finish, really, really beautiful. I use that a lot in my pro kit and on myself. But I also want to show you how well these mix together. So I feel like what's amazing with the Tom Ford lipsticks is how you can find, um, a, you know, a variety of shades you love and they mix beautifully together. So. One I always go back to is Blush Nude. This is a beautiful nude. And I just find, again, with a smoky brown eye, I'm just gonna tap this on. You know, you can go full pigment, but the thing with the Tom Ford lipsticks is these are gonna last you. 
So when it comes to which one's actually worth the splurge, there's a couple of products that I feel like have to be highlighted. Um, the number one thing that I recommend is the eyeshadow palettes. Now they are pricey, um, as is the whole range, but again, this is luxury. You're paying for the Tom Ford name, you're paying for quality, you're paying for excellence, and that's what you get. And again, I think for the fact that they are um, across the board, all the different textures of shadows are equally as good, is always impressive. The colours are wearable, even the blues somehow manage to suit everyone. So, love the eyeshadow palettes. For me, they're definitely worth the splurge. The lipsticks, if you want kind of like entry level Tom Ford, they're still pricey, but a Tom Ford lipstick, again, if you're looking for a present for someone, there is no more beautiful gift than a Tom Ford lipstick. So, for me, they are definitely, definitely worth the splurge. And one thing I nearly forgot to tell you guys about actually, which is probably my whole, one of my favourite pieces from the entire Tom Ford line, I think it was because it was in my kit bag and I put mine in like a travel bag somewhere so I didn't have it to hand, has to be the Tom Ford eye defining pen. You get two ends, you get a really thin end and a thicker end. And for me, I don't ever really use the thin end unless I'm drawing in little individual eyelashes. But I've already done one side and you can see how black this is over any eyeshadow, it will still stand out. But this, I think for like liners on the go is, has to, I think it is the best eyeliner pen I've ever tried. And the fact that it goes over other eyeshadows really, really well is what's so amazing about this eyeliner. It literally can just go over any eyeshadow without losing its opaqueness. But I love it and there we go, I think, Hopefully I've covered everything already in the outro, but I just had to come back and show you that to finish because that definitely is one of my favourites. So now I'm saying goodbye for real. I hope you guys have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.